Hi everyone, this is uh, Dr. Devaney, Bridgewater State University Physics, and this is part one of two for now tutorials on getting started with LICS. Um, a second one will follow with the details of actually once you get into LICS, how to make a nice document. This first part is about how to download and what to download and what order to download in to get LICS to work uh, the best. So first of all, what is LIX? LIX is a um, document processor, but it's an interface to uh, LaTeX. Uh, and LaTeX is, uh, if we just go to um, the web, uh, so we'll go to the web and look up LaTeX. LaTeX is a document markup language. And some of the words you'll hear when you hear about LaTeX is LaTeX is a what you see is what you want. Um, type of program as opposed to uh, what you see is what you get program that you get with Word. So the idea is the following. Um, this is what LaTeX looks like. It's a lot of syntax and everything but when you print it and you write it in, in PDF and the program lets you write directly to a PDF file what you get out of it is what you see is what you want which is a very professional looking publication where all the equations look great and they're all numbered. Here are some further examples. Um, this document was written by one of my students, Brian Callister, and you can see it's uh, what you see is what you want. He wanted something like a thesis or a book, and so um, he wrote it in licks, and it has a great contents that come out, an introduction and sections, and it's got great equations, and you can put um, diagrams and again more equations. It, it really looks great. So that that's LaTeX. Now, what Lix is is Lix is is kind of a nicer interface to LaTeX. So, in other words, if you know LaTeX, um, you can just write all this stuff, and then you get what you want. Um, and as example of somebody, one of my students that can do LaTeX directly is Dale Smith. And so Dale did this article, and again, it looks publication quality and everything, and he wrote it directly in LaTeX because he knows LaTeX so well. And it was Dale Smith that really introduced me to writing in LaTeX and um, got me thinking about having to require it for the physics courses. So this is Dale's um, using LaTeX directly. And just once again, this is... Um, this is Brian's using Lix, which writes in LaTeX, but it's a nicer interface. So that's what we'll be exploring. All right. So um, the first thing is is downloading the software. All right. Now um, this is what I found is the best procedure for downloading. And uh, if you don't download in this procedure, I, I did find that there were troubles. So here's what you do. First step is download MicTech. Uh, it's at this web page, mictech.org, and you download download MicTech 2.9 or the latest revision. And um, and what MicTech is is MicTech is kind of uh, a bundle of packages that has all the LaTeX uh, commands and everything in it. So it it essentially is the thing that is running the LaTeX on your computer. All right. And again, our goal is to have a nice interface to that. So the first step is download MicTech. It's kind of a big file. It takes a little while to download, but uh, it goes pretty smoothly. Um, the next thing you want to download, according to Dale Smith, and I, I would take his recommendation, is GhostScript. Now, I haven't downloaded GhostScript and haven't run into any problems so far, so I'm happy about that. But it, I may run into a problem, and if so, I might have to download GhostScript. Dale recommends downloading GhostScript, which you can find here. You download by clicking on you know, the download page. And um, the other thing I should mention is all this is freeware, so which is great. So again, the steps are download MicTech first, GhostScript second, and then finally Lix. So if you go to the Lix page, www.lix.org, and go down to download, and if you go download, you can download, uh, let's see, the Windows installer for me. You click on the Windows installer and you will be able to download Lix. Okay. Uh, I did have one problem on the, the BSU server. They were not allowing FTP so that I wasn't able to download it on the, the BSU computer. I had to go to my home computer, download the executable, and then um, use that executable to download on my PCs.
Okay, so MGTEC first, go script, and then LIX. Once you get LIX, then you can start up LIX. Okay, um, a couple things when you start up LIX for the first time, what it will do is it will ask you to download a whole bunch of documents. And um, if you have the patience, I would download these documents, they're helpful. Um, but uh, generally, I don't have the patience, so I say cancel to all of them. All right, and here's the scoop that if later you need those or some of those, Lix will talk to MCTEC and MCTEC will download whatever it needs. All right, so if you have the patience, download them to begin with. If not, wait. There is one download in particular I think you should look for when it scrolls through them and definitely make sure you download that, and that's called RevTech4. R-E-V-T-E-X-4, and that's the type of documents that uh, physics journals require. Okay, uh, that is basically it. Um, the next video will be about actually writing something in Lix. Um, a couple things that are, are kind of nice to know, though, that once you have Lix and you have MCTEC, if you go star and program file, um, you should have something for MCTEC. And if you go into MCTEC, uh, MCTEC will have um, a maintenance. And when you go to MCTEC Maintenance, you'll have the Package Manager. So if you ever had a problem with a document that didn't download correctly in Lix and you needed it, what you would want to do is go to MCTEC Maintenance, then the Package Manager. And when you select on the Package Manager, you'll be able to download whatever files you want. Okay? So to summarize, what we've got here is we've got Lix, which is a nice interface that will run essentially MCTEC that will write our LaTeX documents for us and give us what you see is what you want. And what we want is something that looks professional and great like this. All right, uh, the other video will come, uh, number two and possibly three, if I have more things to add. Take it easy. Bye.